Topic 6 Polynomial Subtopic 6.2 Where we focus on remainder theorem, factor theorem and zeros of polynomial. Example 15 Given that the expression 3x cubed plus ax squared plus bx minus 12 is exactly divisible by x squared plus 2x minus 3. In this question, we have to understand the meaning of exactly divisible. So, divisible meaning when we divide, the remainder is 0. So, if remainder is 0, that means the divisor given in this question is a factor. So, if given a factor, then we can use factor theorem. So, the first thing we do is we find the value of x from this factor. So, we factorize the divisor. This is x squared plus 2x minus 3. We factorize, get x plus 3, x minus 1. So, from this factorization, we get the value x equal to negative 3 and x equal to 1. So, we will substitute these two values of x into the polynomial. So, the first equation is substitute negative 3 into polynomial, polynomial in the quotient and equal to 0. So, we substitute and equal to 0. So, the first equation, we get negative 93 plus 9a minus 3b equal to 0. For the second equation, we will use x equal to 1, substitute into polynomial, and equal to 0. So, we get the second equation is negative 9 plus a plus b equal to 0. Then, we solve these two equations by using simultaneous equation method. Here, we use equation 2 and take a as a subject. So, we get a equal to 9 minus b and we substitute into equation 1. So, we get negative 93 plus 9 times 9 minus b. When we substitute a with 9 minus b, then negative 3b equal to 0. And then we simplify this equation to get the value of b. So, here we get the value of b is negative 1. Then, to find the value of A, we substitute this value of B into this equation. So, we get A equal to 9 minus negative 1. The answer is 10. So, the value of A is 10 and B is negative 1. Then, by using these two values, factorize this polynomial completely. If we want to factorize, then we will use this quadratic given that is a factor. So, we use this value of A and B, substitute in the polynomial, and we do long division to factorize. The divisor is a quadratic given that is x square plus 2x minus 3. And the polynomial we put at the inside that is 3x cubed. 
the value of a is 10 so plus 10 x minus x since the value of b is negative 1 and then negative 12 so the first step for long division is divide so we divide 3x cubed over x squared so we get 3x so we put 3x up here and then second step is we multiply with each term in divisor so 3x times x squared we get 3x squared then 3x times 2x we get a positive 6x squared and then 3x times negative 3 we get negative 9 then we subtract So we get 0, 3x cubed, 3x cubed, minus 3x cubed, 0, 10x squared, minus 6x squared, we get 4x squared, then negative x minus negative 9x, we get positive 8x. Then we bring down negative 12. 4x square divided by x square, we get 4. And then this 4 multiply with each term in divisor. So we get 4x square. Then 8x and then negative 12 subtract and we get 0 so how we write the answer after long division if we if we if we have no remainder we can write in form of px equal to q d plus rx and then this remainder is 0 so we don't need to write the remainder so it's just p equal to q times t so polynomial p we write the equation polynomial 3x cubed plus 10x squared minus x minus 12 equal to quotient the quotient here, 3x plus 4, 3x plus 4 times divisor. So the divisor here is this quadratic, x squared plus 2x plus 3. Okay. But we need to factorize completely. So this quadratic can be factorized. So, we write the final answer where we factorize the quadratic become x plus 3 x minus 1. So, this is the final answer.